one of the busiest intersections in downtown Toronto, only steps away from where a man was stabbed and died. Now police confirm eight girls are charged with second degree murder. Three of them being 13, three of them being 14, and two of them being 16 years of age. Police say on Saturday night, the same group of girls was involved in a separate altercation and shortly after midnight stabbed a 59-year-old man. He died in hospital. I wouldn't describe them as a gang at this point, but what they are alleged to have occurred that evening would be consistent with what we traditionally call a swarming. Investigators say there's no evidence the girls knew the victim and they're still trying to confirm how the teens knew each other. These eight individuals, from what we've gathered so far, is that they met each other through social media. They come from varying parts of the city. In the reaction to the allegations, one word keeps coming up. I was absolutely shocked. Never have heard of anything like this. Extremely shocking, especially when you consider the age of and of the of the people who of the individuals who allegedly committed this heinous crime. I cannot remember the last time I've heard of an instance of this happening, especially not, uh, not in Toronto and especially not at the hands of young women. Police have not released the identity of the victim. They say he had recently been staying in Toronto's homeless shelter system. A resident of this shelter near where the stabbing occurred knew him as Kenny. My friend Kenny, he saw it. Stop them. Leave her alone. Assault and violence against homeless people is, is, is a daily occurrence, but that level of violence is something new and, and, and concerning. Now, Mike, we know the girls appeared in court on Sunday. Can you give us a sense of what could happen next? Well, all eight girls are remanded in custody, and their next court appearance is next Thursday, December 29th. I spoke with a criminal justice expert who said that a judge can order psychological assessments on any of the suspects, and given the alleged circumstances, she expects that that will happen with at least some of the girls. Thanks, Mike.